Alrighty guys, welcome back to another GGA video. Today I'll quickly be going over one of the latest builds we've done. Uh, this is one we did for PAX Australia, so we did this for the Asus booth. This is one of three builds we did. So this one was to showcase the latest uh, X99 range from Asus. So this is just one of the boards that was released. So X99 was probably about a month before PAX. So this was the sort of primary showcase build that was in the sort of the center of the booth. So I've gone with sort of an all white theme here. So this is the Inwin D frame. I actually can't get this model anymore. You can get a slightly smaller size D frame. Now these ones did come in red. They came in red very similar to uh, to the IO sort of or the PCI frame there. I would probably call it lobster red, but uh, I did want to paint this white, which I did sort of to match the uh, match the X99 Deluxe from Aces there. You can see with the white there and it's got some white features there i did have the uh, rampage 5 to choose from as well i was sort of 50 50 on which one to use but uh in the end i decided to go with the uh, x99 deluxe and i kind of think it worked better with the white theme uh, the cpu is 5960x of course asus would have wanted the latest uh, cpu as well uh, the power supply is also from inwin i also painted that uh, white as well to match the theme that's an 850 what gold now with our uh, storage and memory we've got the really nice looking a data uh, xpg z1 ddr4 memory i really do love this ram this is running at 2400 megahertz and i think this is one of the best looking ddr4 kits you can get out at the moment now moving on to the ssd that is the a data 128 gig ssd so it's also from the xpg range there and uh, once i turn the system on I added a bit of a plexi sort of base and that'll light up as well once we turn it on. And then we've also thrown in a, another ADATA item which is the uh, ADATA M.2. So this is a 128 gig SSD as well. It's just in the smaller uh, M.2. So the X99 Deluxe from Asus comes with this riser card. So you can e either use this riser card here for M.2 cards or you can use the little riser that's on board or the M.2 slot just in there if you want. But instead of using that one, I decided to go with the, the card so you can sort of see it a bit better. Um, and then, of course, the video card is the Asus Strix uh, GTX 980. So the 980s were out sort of roughly the same time as X99, so they wanted to showcase that as well. Um, and then pretty much the last item is the Cool Master. So this is actually the brand new Nepton 120XL. You can see it there and it actually doesn't come white and it doesn't come with these uh, clear tubes. It actually comes with just your standard uh, standard black tubing which has the sort of coils in it. It wasn't quite working with this design and it didn't quite reach and also it um, it didn't orientate the right way. So I really wanted it to uh, to face the right way. So that's pretty much all, all the main components there. You can see I've also added the sleeving. These are just extensions and some cable combs to keep it nice and neat. And then we've added a uh, Asus, uh, powered by Asus uh, sticker up the top. So just some things to cover what I've actually done as in modding with this build. So of course I've painted it white. Um, I think that went uh, well with the theme. I've also added a full black, oh sorry, not black, a full red uh, motherboard tray behind the motherboard. I do this with most of my builds. You can start, kind of see it reflecting everything sort of behind it. The reason why I do this is in most cases you just get a ton of cable grommets. You get holes, you get all random bits and pieces. So I went to work with making this sort of cover. You can also see how it runs all the way along. So I did all this by hand, cut it down, sanded it. I normally start with about 400 grit sandpaper, then 800, then 1200. And then once I've done with 1200, I move on to some Brasso. And that gets a really nice shine on the edges. Because if you don't, you just get like sort of a matte finish. It doesn't give you the same reflectiveness as the actual uh, coating that comes on the Plexi. So I did that. It wasn't too much to mod in this build, which, um, which did make it easier. And moving on to the back, I also added, this is probably going to get a heap of reflections, I also added this uh, sort of back cover on here as well, because we all know with the in-wind D-frame, 
if you don't you just get this sort of gap where you can see all your cables and then once you uh once you put the side panels on these ones here which are completely clear i actually these are actually tempered glass i actually painted these red uh, to match the theme you can actually sort of see straight through and you just see a bazillion cables so i just whipped up similar tray to the similar plate to the uh, front side but just did it all black and then i just added the uh the little signature sort of plate there and this is a and z uh what does it say 50 on there so moving it back around we'll just uh actually better go the same way all right so we'll just turn her on so this actual on switches are uh, just over here so you can see it nice blue color and then you've got the uh two fans there these are also the uh, cool master jet flows i really like these fans i use this on most of my builds you've got the really nice cool master nepton lighting up white there now the video card isn't spinning yet uh, these new ones only spin i think about 40 percent load or higher so whatever it's doing now booting into windows it won't be uh it won't be going anywhere near that and then down the bottom like i said before we've got the uh ssd plate that's lighting up as well so in in the dark or sort of semi-lit areas it did have a nice sort of white sort of glow to it uh, i think that's pretty much it for this video i won't go into too much more it's pretty much the basic modding features i did there i also painted this red uh, to match the uh, theme this came sort of a matte black so i did that to try and keep the colors all sort of the same uh, so that's pretty much it i've just got one more of these d frames which i did a build in which is the black edition i call this one the white edition the other one i have is the black edition i'll probably go through that one next because that one's a bit more in depth it's got full sort of custom water cooling whereas this one's just running the all-in-one so i'll do that one and that's pretty much it and stay tuned for next time